Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back for more Infinite Magic Red content. Today, this is my first video for the IML challenge about the bleeder team in the in the hero trial. So this is the team I'm gonna use. I have uh, three epic heroes who are really accessible. I have also Catherine and I have Elena because I love her, but you can replace her with another hero, maybe in the Zakma because he can do the same or Brynhild if you have Brynhild. He, they can remove all the buffs in AoE so this is really nice but before we jump into the content as always if you enjoy it please like comment and subscribe thank you so much so this is the team I am using here let me explain a bit uh, so First of all, Catherine, because there is only one hero in the uh, opponent team who can apply some controls on my heroes. So she is the fastest in my team, only exclusive 3 because it can be accessible. Uh, I can change it a bit. Let me uh, modify it because we don't care about the third exclusive. Normally the second one is the most accessible. Uh, it's not that hard to get her exclusive to normally. So. Uh, what happens here? Let's run the fight and see. Okay, so normally I'm gonna take here the some damage, but I can tank it. I tank it thanks to Fegan. Here, as you can see, all my heroes have the death up 60%. This is thanks to Fegan. At the beginning of the wave, once he is exclusive to, he will apply a defense up 60% on all your allies. So, this is really helpful again, heroes such as Margarita, who deals AoE damage. This is super, super strong to sustain. So, uh, now, I have Catherine who plays right after uh, the other enemies, so she can cleanse the uh, freeze on my heroes, so they will be able to act. Now, I'm gonna use this on my heroes, the counter attack and the shield, so they are safe. And now, Elena is really important here, because as you can see here, Luna is stealth, so even if you have a single target buff remover, you won't be able to target her. So this is why it's important in this kind of team to have an AoE remo removal skill. So you can use also Nezakma here. He will do even better because he will steal the buffs. But Elena is also great thanks to her passive because she reduces the critical damage taken by my allies by 28%. So this is nice to sustain one more time against a nuker such as Margarita. So let's remove buffs here. Nothing else remaining on the enemies. Now I want to do this on uh, on Elik because uh, this skill can stun one enemy so if I can apply it on the enemy but before let me ju do just a simple adjustments here. I'm gonna up increase the effect hit because normally you want your heroes yeah I'm gonna put like 80% because normally we have 80% almost on our daughters and normally we have more than 100% mastery on bleeders etc so I'm gonna set it like this on my heroes this is important and okay so I'm gonna apply the dots and also let me normally on support we have maybe 50% effect hit so let me adjust it here this is okay and yeah I don't need other stuff on my heroes to make the test so I'm gonna do this on uh, here him Elik here so I'm gonna stun him okay he is stunned now, let me show you this, why Ofner is an excellent bleeder hero and one of the best bleeder in the game. Look at this, let me show her skills. As you can see here, when she uses her, please show it to us, she, she will deal three stages of attack on one enemy, one target, and so she can inflict up to three bleeds thanks to this. But this is not everything about her. If you read her passive, she has more, some chains on every attack to inflict one extra bleed. So, that means using her ultimate, you have up to six uh, bleeds on the enemy. 
6 bleeds in one turn. This is amazing. And also she is uh, even better than that because she can remove all the buffs from one target once she is an exclusive one. She is great, she is great. So let's see her potential. So I'm gonna hit Luna here because she is, in my opinion, the bigger threat. I don't want her to revive and cleanse everything. So let's do it. Okay, she took four bleeds. Now I'm gonna use Lomas because Lomas is maybe the best bleeder in the game and he is epic. He is epic, I mean, look at this skill. Look at the skills. So, if I jump into his ultimate, this is the best bleed ultimate in the game, single target. Uh, he deals 8 stages of attack, and every stage of attack have a chance, okay, it's a low chance, 35%, but he can inflict up to 8 bleeds at once, using only one skill, this is amazing. And also, with... His third exclusive, he does the same as the new hero Hertha, he can detonate, inflict, triggers the bleed damage up to 6 layers of, damage, of bleeds. This is amazing, this is the same as Hezonja does on his first exclusive. This is really amazing. And also he can apply more things uh, here. Uh, he can apply def defense down, effect rest down on his basic attack, so if you use him with Catherine, he will apply, apply effect rest down 1 and speed down 1 on his basic attack. This is amazing! Two debuffs and great debuffs on one basic attack. This is super interesting. But let's have a look. I'm gonna slow it down a bit and attack Luna here and say bye bye to Luna. Look at the damage! And boom! Now let's go in the data report. So in, he inflicted 327k, but this is not everything because it's kind of weird uh, how it is cal calculated. Some damage triggered by his uh, ultimate went into uh, offner damages here because she was the inflictor of the bleed. So normally he sh he should have more uh, here, more damage because. Uh, he inflicted more than that, okay. So he is amazing. So let's continue the test here. Let's apply consolidation. Uh, we don't care about that. Gonna apply more things here. An extra shield so we can normally sustain. And now we want to remove the buffs from Margarita because she is our next target. Look at this, I have the Immortal now, and Consolidation 2, and etc. from from her. Uh, no, Consolidation 2, I, I, I had it before because my uh, because of my Catherine. So now, the, the question is, do I use this or this? This is a single target, but it applies Effect Rest Down, and also a Bleed, and uh, the... No, no Bleed, sorry, the Speed Down. But this can inflict a bleed on every target enemy. So I'm gonna use this, okay? So let's do it. Okay, she didn't took it, but Elik took two bleeds instead of one. So this is great. So now I'm gonna target... Mm, not Elik, he's gonna die. Probably... he is probably gonna die here. But let's make sure he can die. So I'm gonna heal my heroes. So I stay alive. I wanna stand... I'm gonna try to stun him. Okay, didn't work. It's okay. So I'm gonna do extra damage here, so I'm sure he's gonna die. And... Okay, he died. Here I'm almost close to death. So this is important if I can have some extra heals. Or maybe... Uh, yeah, no, I don't have things to sustain. This is hard. Okay, I stunned her. This is great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Fegan. He can stun on his uh, basic attack. This is amazing. So now I'm gonna use this on uh, her. So I'm gonna apply some bleeds. Okay, extra bleeds. He inflicted two bleeds on her in one basic attack. This is amazing. So now I'm gonna use a shield and a counter attack and normally I'm safe. Now I'm gonna remove the buffs and uh, let's stun her one more time. 
So I'm gonna use this on focus maybe. Yeah, focus, take it, okay. She deals really amazing damage using her ultimate as a direct damage dealer. Uh, three stages of 200% uh, attack damage. She deals 600% attack, attack damage on he, her ultimate. This is almost as much as great uh, legendary heroes damage dealer. This is amazing. I love her. So now let's do this on Nazil and see how many bleeds we can apply on him. Four bleeds. Okay, this is nice because he's gonna die at his turn and now the fight is over. So this, these heroes, he'll look at the damage. These heroes are really, really interesting, don't you think? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye bye! Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.